Hello, it has been forever. Rasifa is still alive. So I have something fun here is I actually have an electronic throttle body in my Miata. That's an NB2 Miata. That's an electronic throttle body. It's not exactly stuck here. This is actually the mechanical throttle body, which is slightly not connected. I'm using it as my pedal pretty much. It's still connected to the actual pedal in the cabin, which allows me to use the TPS sensor, which allows me to have all the cool signals. So that thing actually works. I actually got it around the block. So I'm moving. I'm moving my throttle position sensor, my mechanical throttle body, and that moves the electronic throttle body. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's just testing the test mule. This is not Rossi if I control in the throttle body. That's actually this lovely Palau board controlling the throttle body. So Rossi if I controls the engine, not the throttle body. This is my power source, and unfortunately for right now, this is the way throttle body is controlled. Um, kind of the test that everything is connected right and now I can try connecting it with Rasify directly. Can you please kill it? So yeah, uh, now that the car is killed I can show you how that controls again. That's not me, that's Palau. Oops, uh, can you give me power please? Power? Do I need power? Why do I need power? I'm not sure. Anyway. So yeah, that works. I don't get how Palau PID is controlled because it works with P1, I and D equals zero and yet it kind of works good enough. I think settings are different now. Settings are something like one for P, 0 0.01 for I and like 0.5 for D. But I really haven't seen I and D affecting anything that much. So whatever. Again, not Rossi E5 for right now. Next step would be trying to repeat the same thing at the same quality of the control with uh, Rossi E5 logic. We'll see how that goes. This is a Passat 1.8 turbo throttle body, the one from like 2000, like 1995. They were used on a Zillion of different Volkswagens. You can see that it's very close size to the Miata diameter you can see that two holes actually line up pretty pretty nicely the fourth hole doesn't align at all I guess and then for the third hole we opened it up a little bit and we have that bolt pressing it against and it all aligns pretty nicely I think we had to flip the a little of that um, damn it I don't speak English we had to flip that thinny to make sure air doesn't get into the intake maybe we have two of those thinnies I don't speak English damn it gaskets we have two of those gaskets between the throttle body and the intake having two gaskets allowed us to close uh, the hole because there's a little bit of an offset in the throttle body between the Passat throttle body and the Miata intake manifold this is not connected there's no idle control here yeah, I think that's it. Sorry it's a really long video, but but whatever.